This video will show you how to change the sewing order in BES embroidery lettering software. We're going to select normal and just type a letter. And we're going to do this as an applique. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here and do run. Apply. Oops. We're going to first change our sewing color to the first applique. Copy, paste, change that one. Paste, change this one to a satin stitch, which is style, and change the color. Whoops. Perfect. Okay, there's one letter. <clears throat> now we're going to do the second letter. And we're going to do the same thing. Whoops, I did that as a sound. Let's change that to run. Copy and paste, change color, paste, change color, and change to a style. Okay, now you can see over here in our sequence view that we have a number of different things going on. To simplify this and change the sewing order, um, if you have BES1, um, all you have to do is left click on this and drag it up to the spot that you want it to be. Really simple. And we could do the same right here. Change this one so the sewing order is right here instead. And there you go. That's how you change the sewing sequence. And you can see now when we view this here in our simulated sew that it'll do our placement stitches first, then our tack downs and then place our satin stitch around the edge. And that's all there is to changing the sequence in BES embroidery lettering software.